Hi everyone, welcome back to our channel. I'm Timothy from Cognito Academy and in this video, we will be interpreting the various displacement time graphs. So let's hop into it. Let's first cover the various features of the displacement time graph. First, what does positive or negative displacement mean? We see two portions in this graph, the positive and negative portions. Displacement equals 0 meters just means that the object is at the start point. While positive displacement just means that the object is in front of the original start point, and negative displacement just means that it is behind the original start point. Next, the gradient of the displacement time graph refers to the velocity of the object. This velocity is given by the change in displacement over the change in time. The first type of graphs we will be covering are straight line graphs, where gradient and hence velocity is constant. Let's analyze this graph in terms of its displacement and velocity. Displacement is constant at 0 meters, meaning that the object is at the start point for the entire duration. Gradient is 0, hence velocity is 0, and the object is stationary. Next, in this graph, we see that this object's displacement remains the same at 8 meters for the entire duration. There is no velocity on this object as the gradient is 0, meaning that the object is stationary. Moving on in this graph, we can see that the displacement of this object is increasing from 0 to 8 meters at a constant rate. Since it is a straight line graph pointing upwards, gradient is constant and positive. Hence, the velocity of the object is constant and positive. Next up, this object's displacement is decreasing from 8 to 0 meters at a constant rate, returning back to the start point. It is also a straight line graph but pointing downwards. Hence, gradient is constant but negative in this case which means velocity is constant but negative. A negative velocity basically means velocity in the opposite direction of convention. Or in layman terms, velocity is pointing towards the back and the object is hence travelling backwards back to the start point. In general, in the context of displacement velocity of acceleration, negative refers to the opposite direction of convention. Now that we are done with the straight line displacement time graphs, let's move on to curves where gradient and hence velocity isn't constant anymore. We can see from this graph that displacement is increasing from 0 to 8 meters, but at a non-constant increasing rate. Looking at this gradient, gradient is pointing upwards and becoming steeper. Hence gradient is positive and increasing, and so is velocity. Next up, we can see that displacement is also increasing here, but at a non-uniform decreasing rate. How do we tell it is at a decreasing rate? Let's look at the gradient. The gradient is positive, but it's becoming gentler, meaning gradient is decreasing. Hence, velocity is positive but decreasing. Here, we see that displacement is decreasing from 8 to 0 meters at a non-uniform increasing rate, returning back to start point. Looking at the gradient, the gradient is pointing downwards and is hence negative, and it is becoming steeper, meaning gradient is getting even more negative. Hence, velocity is negative to begin with and getting more negative. A negative velocity means the object is travelling backwards. Now, to the final type of graphs, the negative graphs, where displacement is negative. A negative displacement as explained at the start of this video refers to displacement in the opposite direction of convention. Or in other words, the object is behind the original start point and not in front. Here. Displacement remains the same at negative 8 meters, meaning that the object is 8 meters behind the start line for the entire duration. Looking at the gradient, since this graph is a straight line and flat, gradient and hence velocity is 0, and the object is stationary. Next up, we can see that this object's displacement here is getting more negative from 0 to negative 8 meters at a constant rate. What this means is that the object ends up 8 meters behind the original start point. Looking at this gradient, since it is a straight line graph pointing down, velocity is constant but negative, meaning the object is travelling backwards at a constant speed, since negative velocity means travelling backwards. Next up, we can see that displacement is getting more negative here from 0 to negative 8 meters, but at a decreasing rate. This object ends up 8 meters behind the original start point, like in the previous graph. Looking at this gradient, the gradient is pointing downwards, but it's becoming gentler, meaning that gradient is negative but getting less negative. 
Hence, velocity is negative but getting less negative also. Or in other words, the object is travelling backwards but slowing down. Now to the final graph where we combine both positive and negative displacements in one graph. We can see here that the object's displacement is decreasing from 4 meters to 0 meters, meaning that the object is back at the start point, and further back towards negative 2 meters, meaning it ends up 2 meters behind the start point. Displacement is decreasing at a decreasing rate, since we can see from the gradient that the graph is pointing downwards but becoming gentler, meaning velocity is negative but becoming less negative. In layman terms, the object is moving backwards across the start point but slowing down. We have come to the end of our video interpreting the various displacement time graphs. If you liked this video and found it helpful, do drop us a like down below and subscribe to our channel. Also follow us on our Instagram and website, links are provided down below. With that, see you in our next video.